When I first moved to Nanaimo almost 40 years ago, I would frequently cross the Strait of Georgia and see hundreds of recreational fishing boats along the way. And then between 1994 and 1995, the catch of coho salmon suddenly crashed and keeping coho salmon was actually prohibited in 1998. The catch of Chinook and coho salmon that had provided year-round recreation for years had suddenly dropped to only 10% of past catch levels. Now in 2018, these salmon stocks have yet to even fully recover and our ecosystems have undoubtedly changed. One example is that our southern resident orcas are slowly dying. The good news is that Pacific salmon are highly resilient and they can recover if we give them the chance. So in 2013, the Pacific Salmon Foundation launched the Salish Sea Marine Survival Project in partnership with our U.S. partners Long Live the Kings in Seattle, Washington. This initiative is the most comprehensive ecosystem-based study of Chinook and coho salmon ever conducted. The focus of our efforts was to figure out how to improve salmon abundance from monitoring annual environmental variation down to real hands-on work of actually cleaning up estuaries and restoring eelgrass habitats. This work would never have happened without the dedicated volunteers, donors, and partners like YVR. YVR is helping restore some of the most critical Chinook habitats, and it's right at their front door in the Fraser Estuary. Small Chinook salmon from the Fraser River need wetlands, marshes, and a healthy estuary to live. But this kind of work is very costly and requires many partners. We really do need your help to ensure that there are Chinook salmon for future generation of both orcas and people. So please join our efforts by making a donation today at www.psf.ca. Thank you.